What's up, mites? How are you, mites? We have friends in Australia, mites. Yeah, that's Australian Adele. You know, I think duly elected president elect, presumptive president. Yan. Yeah. Kala ko pa naman, nag-google na ako. Kamusta yung Aman Polo? Kamusta yung mga per night rates dyan? Tapos yung pala, biglang kwento mo nag... Ano daw? Hindi naman jet ski, private jet daw. Biglang sa Australia na daw or something like that. I'm just saying, yun ang narinig natin. We have to, we have to learn. Kamusta kayo dyan? How are you, mites? My mites? Yan. Baka nasa bonsai, bitch. Mga kaibigan natin dyan. Nagre-relax. Very stressed. Siyempre, perfect attendance sa mga Comelec debates. Hirap na hirap dun sa mga discussion. Very detailed policy debates. Very neutral debates. Nung si the professor ay nagka-question sa kanya yung pala job application for DFA yata yung ginagawa. Ayan tayo eh. Ayan tayo guys. Sorry, I'm medyo late tayo. How are you, mites? Um, ah, grabe yung traffic. Grabe yung traffic. Walang iya. Ilang oras tayo na traffic, akala ko pa na hindi na tayo makauwi, hindi tayo makakuha ng grab, sa supran traffic, hindi na ako nag-drive. Mag-thank you muna ako mamaya. Bukas, mag-special thank you ako in my barista style Starbucks. Makasama natin, meron tayong talk kanina dyan. Thank you kay Sir Noe Lopez. Lopez, sorry, Lopez. Naging iba na, Puerto Rican na yun natin. Sa Starbucks, thank you for hosting our legit talk a while ago. Yan, yan tayo eh. So tomorrow guys, I'm gonna put my apron and no, yan. Yung mga nagsayo na mukha tayong barista pag may green, tapos may black, yan. Today kasi medyo Bayern Munich tayo. Alright. Yan. Kamu sa kayo dyan, mites. How are you, mites? Yan. Australia na. Akalain nyo mo guys, si Tatay Digong. Si Tatay Digong. Actually, pagod ako. I'm just pretending na Maganda kasing Starbucks coffee eh. Kaya may energy pa rin tayo. Ayan naman tayo. Vlogger na vlogger. May, may mga product name drop. Mga ganun. <laughs> Ayan tayo. Ano sasabihin ko? Nakalimutan ko tuloy. Sabaw na ako eh. Lama ko pang paper si Check. Wait lang. Hindi, hindi. Ito ah, guys. Six years si Paolo Duterte sa Malacanang. Not even once did he have a special formal visit to any major western capital. Alam ko yata nung pumunta siya sa Apex Summit sa Peru, yata parang nakidaan lang dyan sa New Zealand or something like that. But he never visited any Western capital. Six years, no? I'm talking about official visits. I'm not even sure in a non-official capacity. Ito si... Duly elected. Yan. Presumptive president. Yan. Wala pang six days yata. Pumunta na sa pinakamalapit na Western country sa atin, which is Australia. Australia. Hindi ko alam kung nasa siya ngayon. Nasa Bonsai Beach ba siya ngayon? Nasa Perth ba siya ngayon? Nasa, saan pa ba? Sa Brisbane or Darwin. Yan. Mga friends natin dyan sa Australia. I miss you guys. Wala nang hugot niya na. Move on na tayo. Tapos na. Move on. Okay? Tapos na kayo dyan sa Australia. My cousins in Sydney. Sydney. How are you? In Sydney. Yan, yan ang sinasabi ko sa iyo guys. Marcuses are a very, very different, right, political, let me use a politically correct term, um, force. Let's just say it that way, alright? Iba talaga sila, iba talaga sila sa mga... Duterte. Kasi si Paolo Duterte hindi naman product ng West yan. I'm not sure how many times he really traveled outside the country before siya naging president. Of course, nung naging president na siya, travel, 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 travel. Ayan na si Moka Uson. Biglang nasa Moscow. Wow, very important visits. Official, important. Yan. Um, but, you know, Marcuses are completely different ballgame. As I said, they're Tiffany and Co. They used to be part of the global society. Imelda, Kennedy, mga ganon, tapos Paris, shopping. Of course, alam natin saan galing mga expenditures na yan. Ay, wag na tayo pumunta. Talana Gold, obviously, galing lahat yan. Then, um, then of course, meron tayong Oxford, kahit hindi nag-graduate, Wharton, kahit hindi nag-graduate, nag-LSE naman yung anak. So, you know what I'm saying? The markets are very different ballgame. So, again, ha, in six years, no, in six years, <laughs> si Tatay 
Not even once, no? Zero. Bumisita sa mga Western capital, even for major, even for multilateral diplomatic summits. Again, I'm talking about formal, formal summits. Andun ako nung 27, 2018 for the inaugural Australia ASEAN Summit, hindi nagpakita si Tatay Digong. Tapos ako yung taga-explain dyan. So I'm there and they're saying, why is President Duterte not here? Oh, you ask me. Oh, you ask me. I'm not this spoke na joke naman. May explanation naman na kaalam natin yan. And then itong most recently kay uh, Uncle Biden, special summit today in Washington, D.C. Guess what? Absent na naman si Tatay Digong. This time yun, meron siyang excuse na meron new president. I don't want to preempt his policy. Blah, blah, blah. So, etong isa, wala pang six days yata. Boom! Australia. Australia. Very nice. Bonsai Beach. Yan. Akala ko pa naman, Aman Polo. Tapos, you know, ayan na eh. Parang meron tayong paradise dyan. Siyempre, stress and stress. Very difficult debates. Presidential debates. Very challenging interviews. Very policy-oriented discussions. In fairness naman, he needed the rest. So, naintindihan ko yan. And that's what I'm saying. The market says, once in power... Once they take hold of foreign policy, it will be quite a different ballgame pagdating sa international relations natin. I, we haven't discussed international relations for quite some time, but you know, that's really my first love and first uh, really specialization. And when I say specialization, hindi yung nag-aral lang ako in some university somewhere and then bigla expert na ako. Hindi, specialization natin kasi nagsulat na tayo ng mga academic, international published books, nag-publish tayo ng peer-reviewed journal articles, la la la. Hindi na kasama dyan mo. Foreign Affairs, New York Times, Opets, and all of that. And okay, yeah. So, na mayabang na naman tayo. Okay. Moving on. Moving forward. Ang sinasabi ko talaga dyan, guys. Sinasabi ko na naman dyan. Wait lang. May message din naman sa akin. May nakita na naman tayo. Ang sinasabi ko dyan, mga Marcoses will be different. I said Marcos will be more subdued in terms of his language. I think he'll be more balanced in the sense of open to engagement with the West. President Biden was the first major leader who actually gave a call, if not the first major leader per se, to give a call to Marcos. I think si Xi Jinping kanila lang eh. Andito na ako sa media list na in-email ng, oh, ito ah, nasa list na ako. So in-email na ako ng office ni Bombo Marcos. Ayan no? Press office of bon- President-elect Bombo Marcos. Ayan no? Meron akong, oh, maniwala kayo. Oh. In-email na sa akin, so meron akong updates. Call niya with President Xi Jinping. Guess what? Last week pa tinawagan ni Biden si Marcos. And most likely, Marcos will also attend the Asia-Europe Summit later this year sa Brussels. So it's very possible that within the first six months of Bomba Marcos, we will see the huge difference in terms of the texture of foreign policy and how we engage our international partners. And yes, he said things na sound pro-China, etc. Nakamalisha dun sa ICC, ICJ. Given na yan. But when you're look, starting from a base, which is President Duterte, I think we're still going to see some significant improvements and room for maneuver. Now, speaking of which, speaking of which, remember yung concern ko the other day about the cabinet of Bomba Marcos. I said Bomba Marcos would want an inclusive cabinet as much as possible, an A-list cabinet, in fact, even more than inclusive. And the concern we have right now is mukhang some people are turning it down. So mukhang uh, one of the persons being considered... Pinag-usapan natin yan, si Gentleman Wasmer, sa so video yata yan, eh, mukhang na-turn down niya yung Department of Finance post. So medyo na-snub yata yung offer. Uh, if it is true that Purisima was also in consideration, I don't see how Purisima can accept this if Wasmer, a classmate, did not accept it, considering Purisima also worked with the Aquino administration and before nag sa Arroyo administration because of you know yung mga kababalagan na nangyari ng panahon na yan, di ba? So, um, so, my concern is we might have a situation whereby some of the top cabinet posts, hindi yung mga DepEd, uh, mga ganun ha, no offense to DepEd, but you know, we already know who's gonna be in DepEd, although parang ayot pa rin nila. <laughs> Pero yung mga key cabinet position, uh, DOF, DND, Depar- DFA, Let's see. The office is very important, Department of Finance. Kasi nakita natin na medyo pababa yung market trends recently because of the reputation of the markets. So mahalaga talaga meron tayong solid team, technocratic team in charge. I think Carl Chua, uh, in charge of NEDA and formerly chief economist at uh, Department of Finance, could be the right guy. Just in case, backup option if the top guys who are being considered are not there. Bata pa lang si, uh, si 
uh, si Chua, but, but he's a very smart guy. And I think he, he can handle a very important department like that. So good luck na lang. Good luck na lang na makanap tayo ng mga galing dyan. Sa DFA, I still have to confirm kung yung ibang ano natin dyan, yung mga nire-recommend natin uh, si Ambassador Babe Romualdez or yung career diplomat ay mag yes and tuloy-tuloy na itong at least sa DFA kasi mahalaga sino maging next DFA natin. Sana naman, hindi yung tao na nag-Twitter, ng Twitter, ng Twitter, wala naman problem sa Twitter, wala nagmumura sa Twitter, nagwawala sa Twitter, nagbablock ng Hey Darian on Twitter, and naman, ako parang, you block me? Like, you block me? Excuse me, Ex- excuse me, you block me. Wala nga ako sinasabi, binablock ako ng, sa pang boy yan eh. Binablock ako, wala nga ako sinasabi eh. Tapos, nag- ayoko na magsalita. Anyways, palabas na siya, palis na siya. Sana naman, yung next diplomat natin, totoong diplomat. Someone who's steady, sound, uh, you know, someone who's not purong hot air, but actually my substance, someone who can deal with big powers in the most balanced way possible. No? So, tignan natin yan. I hope hindi magkaroon yung situation na yung DFA rin, magta-turn down na naman ng tao ng mga... Pur- Kasi alam natin bakit they're turning it down, right? Let's be honest. Because they're concerned makakancel sila. Dahil sa cancel culture, di ba? Na makakancel sila nung kabila. At alam natin, marami support ni Lenny galing din sa A and B din. Right? Hindi lang DNA and C, pero marami A and B. So baka makancel sila. So siguro yun ang concern ng iba. But I hope it's important na sana the good people will take up the position. Kasi kung hindi ma-take up yung mga good positions na yan, naku po, baka mga may bloggers na naman at saka mga... Alam nyo na, di ba? <laughs> Mag-take over ng positions na yan. Ayan tayo eh. Ayan tayo eh. I mean, come on guys. We need an A-list cabinet. Whoever is the president, we need an A-list cabinet. Ang dami natin ayusin. Yung pandemic recovery. Yung relationship natin with big powers. Balansay natin. Minura-mura lang yung presidente ng America and all of that. Guys, tama ba naman yan? I have, not, I have nothing against standing up to big powers. I am all for it. Pero mumurahin mo sila? I mean, come on, man. Come on. Ano to? Diba? Hindi naman to. Barangay chairman ng ano. Yung... Seryosong usapan to. So... Ang instinct ko talaga dyan, at buong tao ang instinct ko, um, President-elect Marcus Jr. wants to get really A-list people. No? So I hope the A-list people are being considered. We'll also look at the big picture. I know they're concerned about being cancelled, all of that. But, but if they believe, I cannot speak for them, it's their decision. But if they believe na this, at the end of the day, is the best thing for the country, then I think they can make the decision accordingly. Ako naman, ito advice ko ah. Kasi marami nakikinig sa atin na alam natin medyo high-level friends din natin. Sir, kung nakikinig sa akin, no, just in case, ha, itong sasabihin ko, yes, there's a risk na makakancel ka and it, this might not reflect well on you. May option ka naman mag-resign eh. If later on, may nangyari talagang mali, di ba sabi ni Bongma bon Marcos, judge me by my actions. So kung may actions later on nakakaiba, then resign. Katulad ng ginawa nila purisima dati, di ba? Ano yun? Kailan yun? Yung pananyaro yun, di ba? Nag- nag-resign sila, sila ni, ano, the, I mean, ilan sila, no? lima ba sila? Uh, so, you, there's always the option to resign. So, if things are going wrong, you can resign in protest and even take a stand, right? But in the meantime, kasi ang worry ko is magkakaroon ng vacuum. Magkakaroon ng vacuum of leadership. You know, President Marcos, President-elect, sorry, President-elect Marcos, how should I put it? We don't even know he graduated. No, <laughs> How should I put it? He's a guy that he's willing to get guys smarter and more achievers than himself, which is a good thing in itself, right? Um, so, kung open siya ganito sa mga achievers, mga people who, you know, graduated from top schools and have solid reputation and credentials, hindi lang umasa sa pangalan tatay nila, etc. Then that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And dapat ma-welcome yan, alright? Now, Again, alam ko dilemma yan eh. I don't know. I haven't dealt directly with President Legbom Marcos in recent years. I, yeah, I've met him in the past. But so I don't know what's the internal discussions and all. I'm not going to pretend to, right? But sir, or ma'am, if, if kinausap ka, remember at the end of the day, you're there to protect the national interest, right? You're there to uphold our constitution. At sabi ko nga parati, hindi hari yung presidente. Kung may maling ginawa yung susunod presidente, sino man yan, mag-resign kayo. And you can protest. And you're still gonna have the titles and all. Naging secretary kan and all of that. So, that's one option I'm saying. And then, dun naman sa iba, I understand na parang you don't wanna be enablers. I get it. I get it. Of course. Pero kasi yun nga, look at the risk eh. If hindi ma-fill up itong mga key positions, 
Alam niyo na kanina pupunta yung mga yan eh. And then we're gonna have problem. And then we're gonna have problem. This is a president with 31 million votes, 58% of votes most likely. You're not gonna impeach him or getting out anytime soon. It's, I, I don't think it's ever gonna happen. So, eto na tayo, di ba? I know it's hard. I know it's a dilemma. I, alam ko. Kaya nga wala, I'm not gonna say go and get the job. I'm just saying, please take into consideration the national interest. And if you're in a cabinet position, top cabinet position, you're there to protect the national interest. Yes, you are the alter ego of the president, but the president, as the commander-in-chief, is also under the aegis of the constitution. It's a time constitutional democracy. So I hope folks keep that in mind, because my worry is we might end up with the situation. Naalala niyo yung una yung kabinete ni Digong? Yung mga iba doon, hindi ko man lang mag-Google eh. Like, sino yan? Pag ilagay ko sa Google, walang lalab- lumalabas. Un-Googleable. Tapos yung pala, ito yung mga bata ni tatay nung nandun siya, nandito siya. Eh, hindi naman pwede guys, hindi tayo pwede mag-amateur hours. Seryoso ang usapan tong national interest natin. Department of Finance, DFA, my goodness. D- DND, da- National Defense, seryoso yan guys. Grabe, hindi biro to. Hindi pwede pumunta ito kahit... Ano nang, uh, dun sa mga lamano, alamano, hindi pwede ganun, guys. Hindi pwede. We cannot afford to have amateur hours, clown show, whatever. We can't. Okay? No offense sa mga bloggers and all of that. Okay? You're good in whatever, but this is serious stuff, guys. You need legit people who are credible. Nung nire-respeto. Nire-respeto ng ibang bansa. Nire-respeto ng press secretary ng ibang bansa. Pag tinatawag ka ni Tita Amanpour, uh, ikaw yung, ano, Maayos bang sagot mo? Pwede mo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yun. So, yun. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, alam ko mahirap to, guys. I, I, kaya nga, I'm not gonna say go and say yes. What I'm saying is, please take into consideration. Kasi otherwise, ang makukuha ng position na yan, kung walang choice, mga ungoogleable people. Yung mga ilalagay mo sa Google, ang lalabas lang nung pumasa ng 1972 sa board exam ng I don't know. Civil engineer. I, you know what I'm saying? Ayoko yung ganun yung mga nasa kabinete. Sino yan? Google. No, nothing found. Okay. Lagay mo sa MSN. Baka sa MSN lalabas. Ayan. Board exam ni Pasado number 432. Board exam 1974. Ayan tayo eh. Hindi pwede yung mga ganyan mag top cabinet position. Okay? Ayan tayo eh. <laughs> Ayan tayo. So, or, Google mo, ay, blogger. <laughs> Kalahin mo, diba? <laughs> diba? Ito, ha? Ready na. Oh, tas, tas, si Amanpour, mga Farid Zakaria, mga guys. Uh, today, we're gonna talk to the Secretary of blah, blah, blah of the Philippines about the state of affairs. And then, anong background niya ulit? Tapos niya. Influencer. I said, oh, okay. Um, um, <laughs> how do you describe <laughs> <laughs> tapos, ayan tayo eh. Tapos yung sagot sa interview, ayan ang alamano eh. So, yung mga sagot niya, Our Talano Gold will hold our reserves and our economy stable for the, feasible, for the foreseeable future. Thanks to Yamashita Gold, we can have a debt-to-GDP ratio of below 45%. Ayan tayo eh. Ayan tayo eh. <laughs> Hindi yan pwede guys. Hindi yan pwede. Yung sinasabi na perception is truth and truth is ano. Hindi yan pwede sa mga international level, okay? Hindi yan, pe- hindi yan ubra sa Wall Street, hindi yan ubra sa UN, okay? Ubra yan sa TikTok, pero hindi ubra. So, sana naman hindi mga <laughs> mga bloggers, mga ganun ilalagay sa mga malaking position. Or yung mga good Machiavelli comments tapos... Wala naman publication, anything in the past 5, 10, 15 years, whatever. Okay, um, you get what I'm saying? You, you get what I'm saying? So, kaya nga mahirap tong sitwasyon na to kasi naiintindihan ko, may baggage kasi tong administration incoming. Yes, you get 31 million votes, fantastic. At the same time, there is a reputational problem here with the business community, with international partners. Nonetheless, nakita mo, even si Biden na nga nag-reach out ka agad eh, di ba? At yung sa issue ng uh, court cases and all, Pomo Marcos will have sovereign immunity. So he cannot be sued or anything like that while he's, uh, he's the president, right? Uh, unless, of course, we're talking about ICC and all of that. Ibang usapan yan. Pero si tatay nang involved dyan, hindi si, si BBM. Alright? So you get what I'm saying here. Kaya, and then yun nga eh. 
So the option, hindi, yung, yung sinasabi niya one year, sino pwede mag-ano doon sa one year? Hindi naman pwede pang DOF or DFA si Isko. DILG pwede. Luxon, pwede DND. Pero andun naman si Gibo eh. Andun naman si Lorenzana. So, DOF, I see Carl Chu honestly, as, as backup option just in case this thing doesn't work with doing mga top preferred Kasi mga purisima, mga, mga ganun. Guys, mga award, world awardee, mga world-renowned yung mga yan. Kilala sila ng mga biggest hedge funds, investors, highly respected yung mga yan. Having them in your cabinet is very, very good. Maybe Amado Tatanko, our former BSP, I don't know, I don't know, retired or whatever, maybe he could be considered. We need really bigatin, guys. Kasi yun nga, meron tayong reputation issue. At saka sa DFA, guys, sa, someone na talagang ano. Number one, sarili may gravitas, hindi lang yung hot air. Pangalawa, yung pipilian niyang team, yung mga USEC, mahalaga eh. Kasi yung DFA secretary, siya rin magpipili mamaya kung sino nga. USEC, ASEC, ASEC. may say siya dun eh. Diba? So, it's not only who's the cabinet, but who's gonna be the sub-cabinet. USEC, ASEC, mga ganun. Diba? So, so, kaya mahalaga talaga sinong magtitake over ng mga ganitong position, right? Kaya sabi ko, maging iba talagang usapan pagdating kay Pangulong uh, between Paolo Duterte and President-elect Marcos, there could be some significant, even positive change on foreign policy front, etc. But you have to have a really good cabinet. You really have to have an A-list cabinet. So I'm really watching this carefully. Let's see what is the direction of this. All right? Uh, as I said, for DFA, I already know there are a number of very good candidates for that. Uh, Top-level ambassador, career diplomat, yung mga ganun level. All right? Wag, wag na yung mga, ano, yung mga blogger types. Wag yung mga, ano... Huwag ganon, huwag ganon. Sa matalino sa bansa natin, di ba? I, I know my concern talaga na makakancel sila eh. I, I get it, I get it. But also think about what will happen sa ating national interest. Kaya nga sabi ko, there's always an option mag-resign ka. Kung talagang mali yung gagawin mga ni Marcos Jr., then mag-resign ka and protest about it, right? And then, oh, bida ka ba? I don't know. Sir, kung nakikinig kayo dyan, ma'am, di ba? Yun lang yung advice ko. Alright, I'll keep it there. As you know, as you can see, pagod na pagod tayo. Sobrang maaga pa ako nag-start ng trabaho. Kagabi, tapos mag-check pa ako ng papers. My good, another 80 pages I have to check tonight. So, yun. Thank you guys, ha. Please, huwag kayong magalit sa akin. I hope you understand. I'm looking at the big picture here, no? I'm going above the fray. I'm trying to understand anong mangyara sa ating bansa. Kasi kung walang adults in the room, walang mahusay na team, kawawa yung buong bansa natin tayong lahat mag-suffer. We cannot afford clown show amateur hour period. Period. <laughs> ano yung period? Ganon. Period. Ganon. Alright? Hi. Ano naman sinasabi niya? Guys, wag na tayo mag-troll ngayon na. Pagod na ako. Pagod na si Lion. Pahinga na siya. Mamaya na ako mag-roar. Okay? Okay? Alright, salamat mga kameta. Thank you very much for tuning in. Maraming rin pala nanonood sa ganitong oras. Akala ko wala na, tulog na kayo. Yung pala, andan, andyan pala kayo eh. Walang ya, yung mga, sorry, yung mga ibang comment. Sira, wala ka na, nag-withdrawal na sila. Parang, alam mo yung mga nagkakape-kape parate. Starbucks, Starbucks. Tapos biglang hindi na sila nag sa Starbucks, nag 3 in 1 ng ganun. Tapos nag-withdrawal sila. Ay, hindi sanay kasi yung katawan ko sa Starbucks cafe na eh. hindi ko kaya ito mga 3 in 1. Ganun. Tapos, tapos parang ganun daw level. Kasi pag wala ako, wala silang choice kasi 3 in 1 lang yung mga nila sa mga iba. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ang hirap namin mag-peace ngayon kasi partisan na pala to eh. O yan, peace, peace. O yan, peace. Wala, bongo, bongo na ganun din si bongo eh. Bongji. Ayan na, peace ha. Huwag kayong magalit sa akin. Uh, gusto niyo yung profile pic ko, no? Zading zadi, ha? Zading zadi. Walang niya. <laughs> yung isa ka sabi niya, Sir, akala ko 40-ish kaya nung binasa ko yung mga article niyo. Pero nung nakita ko yung picture niyo, blah, blah, blah. Ano, Gen Z ako, ganun. But anyway, hindi ko na pinag... Kaya nag-comment ako, 40, ganun Yung pala, hindi na nakareply sa kanya. Lumabas dun sa message. Tuloy, akala niyo 40 na ako. Walang niya. Yung mga tanong, Sir, 40 na ka pala. Tanda mo na. Anong skincare mo? Walang niya. Walang niya. Ayan tayo eh. Ayan tayo. Ininsulto ako. Tapos may skincare ano. Wala. Uwi na tayo. Walang mangyayari sa atin ito. Okay. Don't worry. Fireworks will go for tomorrow. So nakita ko may mga ibang friends tayo dyan. Nasa denial mode pa rin. 
Ayan pa rin, this is all this information na manipulate lang tayo. Like, anong mundo po kayo nakatira? In what universe can't you understand? Median voters are sick and tired of trapo politics, of dysfunctional democracy. Now, that doesn't justify voting for Back to the Future, but that makes you understand why they don't buy liberal democratic politics as much as some people want. Gets nyo? I give the numbers. 76% of newly created grow by 40 fugitive families, 70 to 90% of uh, legislature by the diocese, from 17 to 23% sorry, of all elected office. I can go on and on. Numbers. I gave you pew. I gave... Ang kapal pa ng mga nang iba kinikriticize ako na parang feel na feel nila. Tatawagin pa naman gibberish ang sinasabi ko. Like, excuse me. Between you and I, who's using data? Alright? I'm not gonna even go to my... Ano, I'm sorry. Alright? Guys, yung iba dyan. Gising na. Tapos ng elections. Okay? Be adults. Grow up. Pick up the pieces. Now, build a strong opposition so that you have a chance to win again. Maybe in three years. Who knows? But if you're gonna be in your denial, echo chamber, whatever, tapos babastosin yung mga katulad namin na actually pointing out the fact, shooting the messenger, katulad ng ginawa nyo sa Pulse Asia, Pulse Asia, Google Trend kayo ng Google Trend. My goodness, some of you people should just zip it. Because joke naman kayo, yung puro mga kung ano-anong sinabi nyo during elections. Well, obviously you're proven wrong like crazy. And then you blame voters and you blame, ay, this information lang. Like, hello, this information doesn't work out of nowhere. It's in a, it works within a context. And monocausal explanations are a joke. They don't pass any serious academic rigorous review. Monocausal explanation, it's just all this information. That's a monocausal explanation. It's a joke. Alright? So please, kung feeling yung matalino kayo all, show it. Mag-research kayo. Show me data. Stop whining. Okay? Stop whining. Grow up. Alright? Umayos kayo. Baka may chance pa kayo in few years. Pero kung ganyan ang style nyo, echo chamber, echo chamber, deny, deny, whine, whine, walang mangyayari sa atin. In the meantime, don't naman na in offer ng top position. Please think about the national interest too, as much as you're, you have legitimate concerns about being cancelled. All right. And as I said, you always have an option to resign if ever, if ever really things go wrong, as some people expect. You can always resign. Hindi naman ito mafia eh, yung barang ones pumasok ka, hindi ka na pwede lumabas. Hindi diba? Hindi naman diba? So pwede ka naman magresign. Eh. So, I don't know. Mama na tayo magano. Ano? Ayan tayo. Ayan tayo. O, oh, may mga tanong ba dyan? Yung Starbucks coffee natin hanggang ngayon, medyo tumagal-tagal. Kaya, thanks sir, no we dyan. Thank you ha. Bukas, suit ko yung apron ko. Ayan, guys. Relax. Kalmado. Australia. Bonsai bitch. My might. Yeah. Ayan siya, nandun ka sa Sydney, Bonsai bitch. Ganyan music mo, sa nakaiga ka, sa nakashades ka. Yeah. Yan! Ayan tayo eh. Ayan tayo eh. Mariachi, mariachi, mariachi. Yan. Okay? Yes, yes. May tanong kayo dyan. Kalma lang tayo, guys. Alam mo ang trabaho ko ngayon? Tagabigay ng moral inspiration. Pansin ko nga eh. I don't think you guys are watching me for my analysis to be honest. Feeling ko na lang kayo sa akin para makisakay kayo sa energy. Walang yan tong hidara na to. Di ba pagod na pagod to? Ano naman? Starbucks coffee guys. Yan ang solution siya. Hiding three in one. Alright. Makapag ano naman tayo. Gift certificate tayo dyan. Thank you dyan sa mga gift certificate na three in one kape sa Starbucks. Yeah, 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 right? Alam ko eh, aminin nyo, nananood lang kayo sa akin just to get good energy. Aminin nyo, vibes lang habol nyo eh. Ayan yung mga analysis niya, ayan mo na yun, komplikado yung sinasabi ni Idarian. Huwag na yan, huwag na yan. Pero ano, nakakatawa, alas ka doon talaga yung ano. <laughs> yeah, alam ko yung ginagawa. Alam ko, mga kaibigan natin dyan na unit team din, feeling ko nanood lang sa atin para good vibes eh. Para lang good vibes. Kasi pagod na rin kayo sa vloggers niya, aminin nyo, yung mga vloggers, purong paninira, purong... Yeah, purang trashy stuff. Yikes! Yikes! So dito, guys, respectable tayo. Bayern München. Bayern München. Yeah. Tapos Narcos. Tapos monocausal explanation social science analysis. Bonsai bitch, mites. Yup. Buya ka siya. 
Alright? Ayan, tama na. Pagod na rin ako. Mag-check na akong papers, ha? Alam nga. Parang kailangan ko rin mag-aman polo. Guys, next time, ha? Mag-crowdfunding tayo para makapag-aman polo. Ano bang pinaka-cheapest way to get there? Okay, kailangan ko ng... Punta ako sa aman polo, tapos gagawa ko ng... Aman polo... Ano yun, parang aman polo. Nights Under the Moon. Tapos gagawa ko ng mga kwento ko, novels, mga ganun. Alright? Okay. Alright. Thanks, mites. That was great. That was really, really great. Okay? Okay? Yeah, yan tayo. Biglang maging... Oh, yung accent natin, ano na? Ano na? Ano tawa? Bogan? Bogan? <laughs> Yun yung redneck ng Australia, Bogans. Okay! Huwag tayo ganyan. Mahirap na, mahirap na. So yun ha, mga ka, ano, mga ka, sam, ka meta. Mga ka meta is a broad spectrum. Katulad nung pinakita natin ang Pew Survey. Andiyan na mga ka campings, mga ka unity, ka ISCO, ka GMRC, ka Pacman, ka Antman, yan, lahat na yan na dyan. Alright? At, yes! Real Madrid. Soon. Vamos! Okay? Muchas gracias! Okay, senora, senor, that was great. I really enjoyed it. I know I'm just talking to myself and the screen, but it's okay. It's okay, we need, the, I know we all need this, okay? We need to get this out. Pero ito, habang nasa stress tayo dito, nasa bonsai bitch, si Mites, having good time. That's house music, yeah. Ganun, ganun, alright? Okay, may question ba kay Jan? Oy, may mga loyal fans tayo dyan. Nasabi ni Lou, since 2019. Wow! 2019 lang, fans? I thought 2016. <laughs> Nanalo si Digong. Tatay Digong. Ayun, ano ba ba dyan? Pamunsa naman friends natin dyan from Abu Dhabi. Wassalamu alaikum. Friends natin dyan, mga kameta. Salamat kay Brav. Yan, Cole Allen just joining us live from unidentified location on planet Earth. Ayan, shout out dyan kay Rami. Kai Renalin. Shout out naman dyan kay Mart for tuning in. Paalis na ako. Oy, sabi ni Marta since 2015 na. Ay, 2016. Oh, ayan. Talo ka na. 2016 tong fan kong isa. 2019 ka. You're so 2019. Alright? I like classic. Alright? Thank you naman dyan kay Melvin for your star, sir. Thank you very much. Ayan. Sabi ni Vida, next week na lang daw. Pwede naman unity. Unity na lang tayo, guys. Kalmado. Unity, mamay na yung stars. Alright? Ayan. Salamat naman dyan kay Mira. Yan. No, this is... Uh, Naka-sunblock ako kanina. Thinking ang init. Right? Yeah. But I I look fine. Don't worry. Even without sunblock, I look fine. Don't worry about it. Uh-uh. Pa-shoutout naman dyan sa mga kaibigan natin sa Japan. Oh, I was either masse. Tomari ito. Nandas ka. Hidarian, Ricardo eh. Mexicano eh. Okay. Alright, salamat. Friends natin sa Laguna. Yan. Pag ganyan ako hyper, that means stressed ako. This is my way of coping with stress. So, grabe yung traffic. Grabe. Shoutout din dyan kay Mavic. Shoutout din dyan sa kaibigan natin, Nilo. Yan, Jocelyn, Christian, thank you for joining us, guys. Ayan, tama na. Magdang 9pm na. Magawit tayo. Nalpasin. Bukas, guys. I'll try to find time for you guys. Sige lang. Tawin mo yung secretary, pakihanap ng tayo mga meta. <laughs> meron, meron opening. Sige, ano tayo? Okay, baka may time tayo, guys. Balikan na ko yung column ko this week for Inquirer. Ha? Hindi ko pa na-discuss. Na- Marami tayong pag-usapan. Alright? Thank you very much, guys. No, I'm serious. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. For Why mo listen? Bahala kayo. But, but thank you for having the wisdom, right, of not judging me by... By our cuteness. <laughs> sorry ma. Sorry ma. Sorry na. Sorry na. Okay. For not judging me by my konyo accent. Ayan na naman tayo. Hindi naman ako konyo eh. Walang kaya. Ayan. Thank you ha. Bukas. Catch up tayo. And please continue to support us. And ayan. Vlogger. Please sus- subscribe to my channel. Alright. Please subscribe. Okay. Para tuloy-tuloy ang labanan natin. Okay.